All right, so the first thing we need to do here is just like we always talk about is grouping the terms together. All right, so we're going to take our first set of equations and our second set of equations. Can it hear you? Mm -hmm. All right, x plus y plus z equals 3. All right, group your first two sets of equations together, then your second two. Now, remember we said it doesn't really affect which ones we choose, all right? The only reason why I choose these all the time is because it's just, it just stay consistent. I don't want to be thinking about which is better, which is worse. I mean, for the most part, and there's going to be times where some are easier to choose to group together, but for the most part, it really doesn't matter too much, okay? We said here yesterday, from here, you had options, right? We had options as to what to do. We could choose which variable it is that we wanted to solve for, okay? Didn't really matter. We just looked at whatever was the easiest, okay? So look through these, and which variable is the easiest? Remember, x, y, or z. Which one do you want to see? What do you got, Robbie? Why? Is there a wrong answer to the question I just asked? No. No, okay? It's preference to what you want to do. So Robbie wants to solve for y, okay? So what do we have to, mul do we have to multiply anything here by y to eliminate? So that's what we're going to do. What operation are we using, though? Subtraction. Subtraction. So we're going to minus. Okay? They're going to cancel. What's x minus x? Zero. That still cancels. What's negative z minus z? Zero. Mm -hmm. negative, 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 two z. negative 2z. Yeah. And then what's negative 1 minus 3? Negative 4. Negative 4. See, that was actually a good deal for us. Because what happens to both our x's and our y's? They're gone. Canceled out. And what are we going to get right here? 2. Boom. Yeah. Divide by 2, divide by 2. Z equals 2. See, now this one gives us a little bit of a different avenue we're going down. Now we know one of the variables, okay? But when we go back to plug it in, look at your three originals. How many variables do they still have? Two. They all still have three. We know one of them, so now we're down to two. So when we look at this set of equations, okay, what should, which one should we eliminate? Z. Why do you want to eliminate the z's? Now watch, if we got rid of the z's, what would we be left with? X and y. X and y, but what do we know? Z. z. So would we be any farther in, along in the process? We still have we still have one value and we still have two unknowns. Okay? So which variable do you want to get? Which variable, how about this? Better question. Which variable don't you want to get rid of? Z. And why don't you want to get rid of Z? Katie, okay, why don't you want to get rid of Z? Because it's only one that you know. Because you know it already. If you eliminate the X, what are you left with? What two variables? Y and Z. Y and Z. But you know Z, so what are you really just left with? Y. Y. All right? And the same idea. If you got rid of the other one, it's the same process. All right? And again, it's, pr it's preference. What do you want to get rid of? Do you want to get rid of the Y's? Do you want to get rid of the X's? All right? It's your call. Julie, what do you want? X. All right, X's. So, Julie, what are we going to multiply the top equation by to get rid of x? Remember, you got to make them the same. What could you multiply 1 by to give you 3? And the, the idea that you're using for that part is the same idea as what you use to get common denominators when you add and subtract fractions. Okay? Think if you're adding um, one over, uh, 2 plus 1 third. Okay? What do you have to multiply 1 by to give you 3 to get common denominators? It's the same you're same thinking that went into adding fractions with different denominators is the same thinking that goes into making these coefficients the same. Your least common multiple. Okay, so we multiply everything across on top. 3x plus y. Oh, that's wrong. And why was that wrong? What was I doing wrong there? You didn't multiply the y. Good. It's 3y plus 3z equals 9. Okay? Does anything change on bottom? Nope. So we leave it. 3x minus 2y minus z equals negative 4. Subtraction. All right. Any questions so far? <coughs> All right. And like what Robbie said, we're going to subtract. They cancel. What happens here? 3 minus negative 2. 5y. 5y. Good, Robbie. 5y. Uh, what happens there? 3 minus negative 1. Four. Good. And 9 minus negative 4? 
13. Okay. Now again, how does this help us now? What do we do next? Plug in 2, where we see z. Perfect. Plug in 2, where we see z. So we have 5y plus 4 times 2 equals 13. 5y plus 8 equals 13. Minus 8, minus 8. with this was it the idea that the variables canceled at the beginning was that one of the gave some of problems or just the process in general I messed up somewhere in what we just did and ended up with 1.2 ah all right now remember said if you are running into problems okay we said this yesterday if you run into problems there's so many places where you can get a negative or a plus sign mixed up where you can add wrong when you should have subtracted you know there's so many problems you can have little things like that what you might be doing if you run into numbers that aren't integers. Remember I said all your answers would say integers, okay? If you run into that, sometimes it is better off. I know it doesn't sound like the best option, but it is better off just scrapping it and starting over. I couldn't find out where my mistake was. I went back. And that's what usually will happen is you'll, you'll go through and you won't find the mistake, all right? And then more importantly is you'll waste 5, 10, 15 minutes staring at a problem where you made your mistake and you might not find it. Okay? Where you might be better off just going through it again, almost at a, with a fresh, clean slate. Okay? Now we know Z, we know Y, and again, like we said, we, what do we do left? What's left to do? Find X. X. Um, does it matter where we find X? Will, does it matter where we find X? No. Where do you want to find X? Middle. Middle. Alright, so we go, we don't know X, plus Y is 1, plus 2 equals 3. Oh, that's wrong. Yeah, I don't like this. So. Okay. And the matter, again, it's just a matter of just plugging in our answer. We put it all together. Okay. Now, again, remember when I told you about this yesterday? Big problems like this, okay? Was there anything new with what we did? No. No, it's not really new. Elimination's not new. All the adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing, then you don't really divide that much. But all that idea of solving equations, this is nothing more than plugging in and solving an equation, all right? Plugging in and solving an equation, stuff we did on the summer assignment, right? That I equals PRT, right? The same idea that we're doing there is just being applied to this problem along with elimination and along with all the other stuff that we've done. Okay? 13. We can do that next. Alright? So, 